we're talking about the greatest sermon of all time. Fortunately, it was recorded by the disciples. You will find the greatest sermon of all time in Matthew chapters five, six, and seven. Here's the basis of my conviction. It says, now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down and his disciples came to him. You see that? He began to teach them. So we're gonna come to church and we're gonna allow the Lord Jesus Christ to sit with us and teach us how he wants us to live. Because when you look at these three chapters, Matthew chapters five, six, and seven, what you find is the Magna Carta of Christianity, of Christian ethics, of what it means to be a follower of Christ. And the reason why this the teaching from this pulpit is its emphasis is on making disciples is because that was the emphasis of Jesus and his teaching. And when Jesus saw the, look at what it says, he went up on a mountainside, he sat down and his disciples came to him. Jesus saw the crowds, he sat down with the disciples. Jesus saw the crowds, he taught the disciples. So at our church, we wanna be about making disciples, knowing that there's gonna be crowds that show up. And it's cool. We're glad to have the crowd, aren't we? We like to have the crowd, but we want the crowd to eventually come a little closer and sit down and be taught. We don't want the crowd to stay a crowd. Too many people in American churches just show up, they attend, but they never change. But here's the difference between the crowd and the disciples. The crowd, they're spectators. The disciples, their participants. So you have to make a decision, family. You have to make a decision. Crowd, they were all, they were big fans of Jesus. Lots of people who were fans. Only a few of them were followers. And you have to make a decision. Are you gonna be a fan or are you gonna be a follower? And what we are calling you to is to be a follower of Christ. All to Jesus, I surrender. All to him, I freely give. I surrender.